United States tonight has taken military action in Syria. The Pentagon informs us that Tomahawk cruise missiles have been launched from a United States Navy vessel from a United States Navy ship off the coast, at least 43 to 47 Tomahawk cruise missiles striking sites inside Syria at the air base listed on your screen. Uh, this is the base from which it's believed that the Syrian military launched a sarin gas attack on its own people. Those pictures too graphic to show at this time of the evening on network and cable. Patrick Haas is here. Uh, so tonight, uh, President Trump ordered a Tomahawk missile strike on a specific base in Syria where he believes the chemical weapons attack uh, was launched from that occurred about 72 hours ago in Syria. Um, initially, it was reported on Fox News that he did not, repeat, did not warn the Russians, which made me a little upset because I thought that was an extremely reckless thing to do because they have troops out there and I really don't feel like having a nuclear war with them. Um, but it turns out now that uh, apparently they did tell the Russian government what was going on so that they knew. And I suspect, I don't have any way of proving this, but given the Russian signal today where they said... Um, that that their support for Assad is not is not unconditional. I think that perhaps there was some sort of a back channel kind of quid pro quo with the Russians, where the Russians would, uh, you know, look the other way while we blew the hell out of the space. Apparently, now I I have done videos and I'm on record as saying I don't believe this attack. Uh, oh well, put it this way, I'm not sure who perpetrated this attack. I think there's enough question there. And enough evidence, there's more evidence needs to be sifted through to find out the truth about if Assad perpetrated it or not. So I think it's way too early to say definitively we know who did the attack. It was more likely attack, but there's been 50, uh, ISIS has perpetrated 50 chemical attacks in that region in the, you know, the last few years. So, I mean, this is not an unheard of thing to happen, but, I mean, obviously something did happen there. But my question is, and I've, I've showed evidence in other videos I've made, is that there's enough question there to suggest that perhaps there was something else, you know, to this. Perhaps it was blown up. Perhaps these Syrian jets dropped a bomb and it hit uh, chemical weapons that were stored there. Uh, maybe the attack was done by ISIS. I mean, there's a lot of other possibilities there. So I would have liked to have seen a lot more evidence before we start, you know, sending missiles into somebody's country. But... Be that as it may, on the positive note, the Chinese leader, the Chinese communist leader, did get a front row seat to this show while he was meeting with Trump. I, I think that was a nice message for that, that dear leader to take with him all the way back to China. Maybe he'll cross over the South China Sea while he's there and he can spread the message about uh, what might be coming his way if he tries to get froggy in the Pacific. So that's a good thing. Another thing is, you got the nutcase Kim Jong-un over there, he sees this, I mean, that's got to make his weird little butt pucker, I'm sure, so that's a good thing. If this is a one-time nut slap, I can deal, I can live with it. I'm sorry, I have, I was a soldier for a long time. So, uh, a one-time, you know, slap in the hiney, a one-time, you know, you know, jab in the nose, I can live with that. What I can't live is a full-scale war in Syria and it to become just another freaking Iraq that we're stuck in the middle of again. That I can't abide. But as it stands right now, as of this filming, it looks like this was a surgical strike to do a very specific issue. And it had the added bonus of giving the Chinese and the North Koreans something else to think about. And we may, you know, it, it may turn out to have been a good move. But we'll see. More to be told. But as far as for the attack that perpetrated all this, I still say there's enough evidence out there that needs to be looked at. We don't know who perpetrated this for sure. And I've done multiple videos about questioning the CIA and our other intelligence agencies. They have their own deep state reasons for wanting to, to pull black flags and other things. So my whole point is, I'm not saying it's impossible. I mean, Assad is perfectly capable of killing people. I, I have no doubt about that. The guy is, is not a good guy. The problem is, everybody we would replace him with is just as bad. Because that's just how it is. So unless we're going to sit over there for another two, three generations and babysit these folks, they're going to have to figure it out for themselves. But, hey, a nice, uh, a nice little... 
you know, shot to the North Koreans and the Chinese leader. I can live with that. And what another thing I really love about this strike is it was cruise missiles. We didn't lose anybody. And if that's what this is, I'm okay with it. But I, I, I did, and some of you might have seen my Twitter feed, I did freak out a little bit because I thought initially, and I got it off Fox News, by the way. Fox News said they were not told at all. The Russians were not told. And I, I jumped to conclude, I gotta admit, I wasn't, I should have waited a little longer, but I got really frustrated because I just thought that was enormously reckless. But it turns out he did, according to, I could, then again, I probably shouldn't trust him, but according to Fox News, they, they, uh, they did, but I was all, also heard it from a couple other news outlets, so. Looks like that's what it is. We'll see what happens in the next couple days. But I'd like to know, what, what do you guys think? Do you guys support this military action there? Um, and do you believe that the attack that perpetrated, uh, I mean, do you, who do you believe did that attack? Do you believe it was Assad or do you believe it was rebels? What, what do you, I really want to know, what do you guys think? And also, you know, really, what do you think about the strike? Do you think this was a good move for Trump or a bad move? Do you think he's serving the American, you know, what American purpose is here or is he serving the deep state? Which is it? I really want to hear from you. Talk to you later.